Hey, what's up? This is Sifu Cuddle, and in this video, we're gonna be working on one of the techniques from my book, Monkey Movement. So you can get this book off of amazon.com and order it, and then you can check out all these techniques from Monkey Kung Fu, ranging from acting to actual Kung Fu techniques and some acrobatics and gymnastics. It's a really in-depth book. It'll give you how to do the movements and also mistakes to look for so you can do self-correction. Today's technique, we're going to be doing the backhand slap. This is from page 62, and this is one of the uh, monkey techniques. Now, for the backhand slap, I don't often consider this a, a, um, a big self-defense technique. It's a very useful technique for a quick slap, but this is not going to be something where you're going to hit them with it and they're going to knock them out. I do find this very valuable on the training side to develop a good snapping relaxed power. So you can add this to your training regimen as a part of your warm up that will benefit the rest of your strikes when you actually do close your fist and strike. Okay, so let's go get to work. Okay, so now the first thing you wanna remember is the hand position for this. For the backhand slap, we're not gonna be doing a big sweeping slap motion. If you're gonna do that striking surface, you want the entire back of the hand, more surface for more pain. But this one, we're gonna to try to be more sneaky. This is more of a forward slap, forward thrust. So we do wanna aim with the knuckles themselves. So you wanna lead with the knuckles to strike. Okay, but keep those hands nice and loose, nice and relaxed. All right, now it's very simple from here, but it's a nice way of training. What we're gonna simply do is start from a, uh, like a cat stance position. And then I wanna have my hands relaxed and in front of me, elbows downward. Now, if I have my hands in this position, that's totally fine. If you wanna start with a little bit more of a monkey hand forward here, that's okay too. But basically what we're gonna do is strike forward, a forward thrust with the back of the hand. And notice my fingers are nice and loose and relaxed here. That's exactly what you want. You don't wanna overdo it with the hands where you end up hurting your wrist, but we're just gonna launch one hand forward, other hand's gonna end up back by the elbow. From there, I'm gonna do almost like a hopscotch, but I have to pull this hand down and then straight forward, okay? So I don't wanna make a circle with the hands as I do this, I wanna strike forward and then the other hand goes underneath, okay? It's not really a leap frog over, okay? So again, I'm gonna strike here, strike here, Strike here, strike here, nice and relaxed. Now personally for training, I like to do um, odd numbers. So rather than just, you can do one to one, but you get a nice changeover if you do threes and fives. So from here, I can go one, two, three, one, two, three, and then my other hand is in front each time, okay? Another thing that you can do to this is change your stance. So rather than having that cat stance position to strike here, we can work on our balance by simply lifting the leg. Now normally, I would, may, I would put a big emphasis on pointing the toes straight down. It looks nice, it's very uh, important for your martial arts aesthetic. But for monkey, you wanna really hook that foot, okay? And hook it up this way, nice and uh, monkey style. And then of course again, we can strike here, okay? One, two, three, one, two, three, or just simple ones, or even one, two. One, two, one, two, and then switch sides. In application, this is gonna get some nice snapping power for your punches. So you get used to being very relaxed and then getting a little bit of snap at the end of the strike. Using this in application is not gonna be a knockout. So don't think that somebody's gonna get in your face, boom, you're gonna hit them and knock them out. That's not how this one works. If you use this to strike forward, you need to follow with something else, okay? So in application, be aware of how you're using this. It's all based on context. All right, so there you have it. If you wanna know more about this technique and many others, check out my book. It's available on Amazon. It's called Monkey Movement, the ultimate guide for monkey kung fu movements, techniques, and acting. And if you like it, please leave a review. Um, you can just do the stars, or if you want to, go ahead and write a review. It's super helpful for me, and it also helps other people find this book too. If you like this video, hit that like button, and as always, be sure to subscribe. Till next time, this is Sifu Cuddle. Bam.